Hello guys, this is Jin 101 and we have now a new tutorial. In this video we are going to learn how to control Firefox by using AutoEach. Let's get started. The steps are, you have to install Firefox, you have to install a plugin called MozRepo, you have to download the AutoEach library called ff.au3 then you have to configure this plugin let's see how to do it um, if you google Moz repo I've post I've put here the URL you can find it and you can install it to Firefox um, you can also install it by using this URL in your browser about colon add-ons and then you can go here to add and search for the plugin and then you can install it after doing it you can open Firefox and you can click on the menu on the top me the top um, using the right the right button of your mouse and then you can search for this um, to show the menu bar here I have Firefox in Portuguese but you can do the same by using Windows you can um, use the shortcut F10 to open this menu um, by doing so you can see over here uh, a tools options and then you're gonna click tools and then mouse repo and then you click activate on startup after doing it uh, everything is set up now we have to download Firefox uh, library for how to eat here I have put the um, path the URL you download it um, this library is very interesting because we have a lot of useful functions like image click link click and uh, a lot of uh, functions to um, control Firefox tabs. Here I have a simple example of what we can do using this library. I, I'm gonna explain line by line here. Okay, first we include the library, then we uh, we start Firefox by using the Google address and then we check if uh, everything is connected and then we click a um, element on the web page by, by, using, by using the name of the element in this case the element is called Q on the Google page and represents the input where the user can type for search on Google and then we click there and then we are able to after two seconds we can, we are able to send a string in this case we are sending the test string that means we are writing test on the Google web page and then on this line we are using XPath to find the OK button to search the search button on Google and after that we click on this button after clicking the search will be done we wait for three seconds and then we use the close function to close Firefox and now we're gonna see this script running on my machine let's go there here I have my script um, on the auto each editor here I have the Firefox library for auto it and the search the source code I've downloaded so let's run it I'm gonna go to here to tools and then go uh, the browser will open a test will be written in the Google input and then the search will be search button will be clicked and the search will be done. 
and then the browser will close it and that's it i hope you enjoyed this video if you like it please um, click give me a, a plus okay thank you and see you soon bye